PC Part Picker is like building a PC on training wheels. It's a great tool, but if you know how to do it without this website, you're so much cooler. If you don't already know, PC Part Picker is a PC building website. You can just plug in your components, and if there's incompatibilities, it will tell you. And like I said, yes, this is great, but knowing how to build your PC without it is even cooler. Like, what's the difference in a motherboard chipset and socket type? Chipset and socket type are the same thing, right? No. A socket type refers to LGA or AM4 or 5. If you go to PC Part Picker and the motherboard section, you can see under socket, there's all these different options. You'll see AM5, AM4, or LGA1700. You might also see other ones named LGA number whatever. The socket type is literally what's on the motherboard here. It's essentially the shape at which your CPU fits into. AMD and Intel vary. So if you buy an AMD CPU and a motherboard that has an LGA socket type, you're screwed. <laughs> Just like the shapes of the actual CPU are different, so is the socket within the motherboard. This is kind of easy to remember. LGA goes with Intel, AM whatever, four or five goes with AMD. Now when referring to a chipset on a motherboard, this is essentially its features, also known as the numbers and the letter in a motherboard name. For instance, this motherboard is an X870E. We know it goes with an AMD socket because of this X at the beginning of the motherboard name. AMD always goes with B, A, and X, whereas Intel motherboards always go with Z, B, or H. Yes, AMD and Intel both use a B-type motherboard, so this is why you can't always rely just on that letter. One easy way to help you tell is when you're searching for a motherboard is to look at that socket type we first learned. We know this one is an AM5 socket type because the shape of it, and if we just scroll down and look at it in the description, we can see it supports AMD Ryzen 9, 8, and 7000 series. To help lock this information in, next time you go to buy a motherboard, try to buy one without looking at PC Part Picker, and then check afterwards to make sure you're correct. 